Having looked at voltage and current, now let's consider resistance in Ohm's law. Resistance is directly proportional to voltage, since an increased voltage means an increased resistance, and a decreased voltage is caused by a decreased resistance. As we described earlier, an increase in current is caused by a decrease in resistance, and a decrease in current is the result of an increase in resistance. We say that resistance and current are inversely proportional. Ohm's law expresses these relationships as R equals V divided by I, or resistance equals voltage divided by current. Just as with current, the basic Ohm's law formula can be transposed to solve for resistance. We begin with the basic formula, V equals I times R. Dividing both sides by I gives V divided by I equals I times R divided by I. The right side I's cancel to give us V divided by I equals R, which can be transposed to R equals V divided by I, or resistance equals voltage divided by current. We can use this formula to find the amount of resistance in a hair dryer that limits current flow to 10 amps when 120 volts is applied. First we write out the formula, R equals V divided by I. Our given values are V equals 120 volts and I equals 10 amps. Then we insert the given values, which gives us R equals 120 volts divided by 10 amps. We end up with R equals 12 ohms of resistance. Let's try another one. In this circuit, how much resistance limits current flow to 2.5 milliamps when the voltage is 25 volts. Once again, we write out the formula R equals V divided by I. Then we insert the values, which give us R equals 25 volts divided by 2.5 milliamps. On a calculator, we would key in 25, divide by 2.5, exponent, chain sign, 3, equals, to get 10,000 ohms of resistance, or 10 kilo ohms.